Hey, uh, what's the experience been like for you so far? Uh, I know this is your first trip. Uh, coach said you guys went over there and practiced kind of late last night. Uh, couldn't even see the Coach Wooden statue because it was dark out. What what's it what's it been like uh, so far? Is there anything that stood out to you? Uh, I mean, obviously this year has been a crazy year. So uh, we went into this knowing it wasn't going to be like the normal uh, March Madness. But you know, it's been cool. Uh, it's been good being with the team. It's good being in Indianapolis for this great event. Or and uh, nothing has really been crazy. We just been. Uh, Quarantining yesterday, we got out, had practice, uh, got back a little late last night, slept in today. So we've just been hanging out, waiting for practice. It's, it's been pretty cool. It's been a cool experience being out here. What do you guys do in your rooms uh, when you're kind of waiting for between uh, practices and events and stuff? Um, really just kick it. Uh, There's really not much to do in a hotel room. Uh, I mean, I have iPads, so I'll be playing chess, watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, I don't know what the other guys do, but that's what I do. They said they were maybe going to put some video game consoles in the rooms. Did they put any in yours? No, nah, I haven't got one yet. Okay. If I get a PS5 or something. <laughs> Mike, go ahead. Hey, Tiger, how's the uh, mentality with the team? Like, are you guys feeling it yet now that you're in Indianapolis? You're surrounded by everything March Madness? Yeah, I think we've been ready for a couple of days now, even before coming out here. But uh, it's exciting being out here, uh, excited to take on Michigan State on Thursday. And um, yeah, we're just getting ready for that, honestly. Chris Solari, go ahead. Hey, Tiger. Um, I know you had a, a long relationship with Coach Izzo and, and the staff at Michigan State. Can you kind of talk about w what that was like maybe last year going against them? and the things that maybe you learned for, about Michigan State's program from playing them last year? It was it was uh, really cool going against, uh, you know, a great coach like Coach Izzo. Uh, last year, you know, Michigan State always plays hard. They always uh, get out in transition, and uh, they give it all they have. They play with a lot of toughness. So, you know, playing against them, that helped us a lot. We took what they did back and um, added it to our game. Obviously, Coach is a, our coach, teaches toughness, but – it was just good playing against another program that, uh, you know, instills that in their players. So uh, last year, we just learned a lot from that. And uh, this year, we're going to watch the game from last year. We're going to uh, study some film and hopefully be ready on Thursday. Ben? Coach said a couple of days ago that you guys were going to do some uh, conditioning and then he was going to maybe be substitution patterns to keep guys like you fresher at the end of the game. So uh, well, what did you guys do conditioning wise that maybe was a little bit different and, and how much could all those things help you uh, stay fresh at the end of games? Um, you know, conditioning wise, we just did more drills and practice um, on more specific things like running the court and uh, things like that, but nothing really crazy besides that. We just tried to go harder for uh, our practice times going into this week, just being more conditioned going into this tournament. Rick, go ahead. Tiger, uh, the reason why you go to UCLA is for these moments, to get play in the, the dance. How do you approach the, your first uh, dance, so to speak? Are you doing anything different? What What, what is your approach? Um, you know, I'm really excited to play. I'm amped up to play. You know, it's a great opportunity for uh, my team and I. And so, uh, but I'm really just trying to take it uh, like in uh, like any other game. But I say that not saying I'm going to this game with not more intensity, not more uh, attention to detail. I just want to, you know, go into this game like it's just another game. Relax, calm and cool and collected. But uh, yeah, I'm, of course I'm excited. I'm jacked up. I'm ready to play. But uh yeah, I want to treat it like another game. Good luck to you, buddy. Thank you. Sam? Hey, Tiger. So uh, it's really just uh, Chris Smith is the only guy who's played an NCAA tournament game for you guys. He's obviously not going to be out on the court, but he's traveling with you guys. He's been to practice with you guys. Have you kind of picked his mind uh, on what it's like to, to be in this situation? And what's it like having him around? He's just told me that uh, this is just a great experience, and uh, that's why I got from him. But it's it's awesome having him around. 
you know, seeing him, uh, he's doing rehab and all that, you know, he makes sure people are in the right spots in practice. He's talking to us. So, uh, yeah, it's good having a vet that's been to the tournament. And, uh, yeah, I have, I'm not going to say that I've fully picked his brain yet, but uh, I've definitely made sure that uh, – or he's definitely tried to make sure that I'm ready to play on Thursday. Let's go back to Chris. Tiger, I was just wondering, have you heard from Jaron Jackson at all? And uh, I know he's not one to really talk a lot of trash, Um uh, but uh, what kind of things maybe has he said if he did reach out to you? Uh, that's my uh, that's my brother, but no, nah, I haven't I haven't heard from him yet. No uh, no friendly trash talk or anything like that. No, uh, I haven't really yeah I haven't heard from him about this game. Mike, Tiger, you obviously want to move move past the last four games. Um, what have you guys addressed? to maybe avoid some of the things that caused the losses uh, as you now get ready for these, this first game? Uh, well, I feel like I've been saying it all season. And it, these last four games, it really came into, uh, it really was obvious. And uh, I think we just need to put together 40 minutes of playing hard. Uh, we get to the ends of games and we kind of, you know, go back and forth with teams and they get the edge. And we're not really playing with the intensity that we have been all game. And uh, so I think it's just putting together 40 minutes of uh, playing hard, uh, no matter who's on the court. Okay, let's finish up here with Ben. As, as the point guard on this team, do you kind of consider yourself the guy who needs to be vocal and, and stay stuff late in games uh, in kind of the huddles uh, when, when, when the game's getting tight and it's coming down to the uh, final minutes? Of course, yeah. I'll, I've been trying to uh, take a more of a leadership role. I feel like uh, this season I've grown more towards the end, but I also try to encourage my other guys to be vocal and to to make sure that they're locked in and tapped in and they need to be talking and, and relaying what they see so everybody's on the same page. But Has anybody kind of stepped up uh, to, to supplement you there? I would say the whole team. Uh, Sometimes we have lapses like you've seen in these last four games, but, uh, you know, we're just trying to take it one game at a time. And, uh, you know, everybody likes to help out. Everybody cares. I mean, everybody's locked in. So, yeah. 